Hi, my name is Robert Sferanek and today I would like to show you how easy it is to create a 3D model of your board. Also, I would like to speak a little bit uh, how to add other 3D parts into your model, the parts which are not directly connected with, uh, with your uh, PCB. In my case, it is, for example, the 3D model of the module which is placed on this board-to-board -board connector. To create a 3D model of your board, everything, what you really need to do is add a 3D model to each component used on your board. I'll show you how to create component with 3D model. For demonstration, I just copy and paste this connector. And uh, currently, this connector includes also the 3D body of the connector. I'll delete it now. This one, delete, and press number 3 again. As you can see, now we have only the footprint. For very simple components, or for the components where is no 3D model available or provided by component manufacturer, we can just place 3D body, set color, set total height, mm, connector height is 14, 14, ok, and draw the 3D body. It will be only very very simple cube but it's ok for most of the components. Press number 3 as you can see we have a very simple 3D model for our RJ45 connector. Press number 2 Many connector manufacturers provide 3D models of the connector. This is Tico website, and this is my connector. As you can see, here is the 3D model step file. That's the one what we need. Download the model, and we will open it in. Uh, we will import it. I've deleted the 3D simple model, what we created before, and now we are going to place the real one. Here select generic step model, embed step model, select the file, what we have downloaded from the manufacturer, it's the step file, open and place it here. Press number 3. We need to rota rotate the model and place it on our footprint. Press number 2. I know I need to rotate it like this. Check out. OK, and we need to move it up. OK. Almost done. We just have to place it on the right place. 
I use arrows. Okay. And it's done. This is the PCB what I have designed, but uh, I really wanted to check it uh, as a system because this is baseboard which is designed for a module which is placed here as you can see. And the module itself is is not really part of the schematic, it means it's not really part of this project. But I really wanted to see it. What I've done is I placed there the model as a 3D model. And now I can I can uh, see the board as a whole system. How I did it? It's simple. I use in my schematic a symbol which is basically only the 3D model of the module. I created the schematic symbol type of standard no bomb with footprint which basically doesn't have any pins and any paths. It is only the 3D model of the module. This 3D model is nothing else. It is just the step file generated standard way. If this if this was the module project, then uh, everything what you need to do is just save it as a step file, and then and then place it as a 3D body, embed it step file, and uh, as you can see, this is the step file of the module. And when I place it here. I will get nice 3D model of the module which can be used and placed on my baseboard and which then uh, shows very nice picture of the complex system. If you like the video and you found it useful you may uh, want to have a look on my uh, well done blog where you can find more Altium Designer related posts and videos or also some other posts about, uh, about hardware design. Thank you very much for watching.